Why do recent web development courses teach Node.js rather than PHP or Python as a backend language? So this is an article I found on Quora and you know, I could do a whole channel, my whole YouTube content could be just about dispelling myths that are being perpetuated out there on the interwebs. So we're going to go through this article and then I'm going to take it apart. So let's just jump into it. In case you don't know who I am, Uncle Steph, they call me, the 169-year-old developer. Why do recent web development courses teach Node.js rather than PHP as a backend language? Reformed JavaScript hater will spout out his uh, little stories and then we'll get into it. So Node.js is a rising star in backend development with the associated rise in related jobs. Node.js uses the same language as the front end, simplifying full stack learning. Uh, again, this is a, uh, a myth perpetuated by young nerdlings, uh, inexperienced people, that somehow learning the second programming language is going to make your life so much easier. It's such a myth because anybody with any experience in development will tell you to learn the second and the third and the fourth programming language is a pretty trivial task. So um, today, two days of work, maybe that much. So to get into that, uh, to get excited about whether you're going to learn one or two or three programming languages is kind of a silly thing. But let me just jump back in. Node.js is also used directly in front-end development as part of the development environment. So it's a tool you already need to install anyway. Not necessarily. Not everybody uses Node on the front end. The story around installing packages for a single project is much better than for Python or PHP, where each project gets its own node module folder and just uses packages installed for that project with no additional magic required. I don't know about that one. Um, in all honesty, I haven't used Node. Uh, I haven't looked at Node in a while, but I know that the creator of Node uh, didn't like Node so much, so he went off and created Deno. So when the creator of Node is uh, as they say in French, they're leaving, he is leaving, that tells you something about what he believes was going on with Node. That said, I can tell you that when I looked at Node, NPM, their package manager, and the dependency tree was a mess. I don't know about today, this is 2021, but it was in the past. PHP, on the other hand, no problemo, very smooth, very easy, very well maintained. Uh, Python, I haven't heard too much about it. As far as I understand, it's pretty cool as well. So I think that is a, uh, that statement, I'm not too sure about that one. So let me go back to the article. Uh, the story around debugging Node is much better. Install VS Code, tell it to debug your Node project done. You now have a fully configured interactive graphical debugger. Again, um, I don't have too many comments on that because I haven't looked at that uh, recently. All I know is that debugging PHP or Python is uh, pretty doable. I wouldn't be so concerned about it. Node.js is really only a mat. Only, excuse me. Node.js is really the only major option when it comes to symmetric server rendering. So if you want to teach that, Node is the only game in town. Well, to be honest with you, I have to look up symmetric server rendering. Um, I'm not sure how useful that is. I doubt it's super useful. I'm sure in certain circumstances it's super useful. But for 99% of development, I don't think it's something to be so concerned about. If you want to upgrade to enterprise class software best practices, they call, they can put in TypeScript as well on the front end and back end. Angular also makes it makes TypeScript standard. And using TypeScript on Node improves your engineering quality and code readability by a lot. Again, that's an opinion. If you know how to write good code, you'll write good code. With, uh, for example, PHP 8, it has all the enterprise capabilities built in. Uh, good code can be written in any software, uh, any language, really. So let me continue. Uh, edit bonus reason 
I was reminded in the comments, Node.js uses an asynchronous event model, which means it is tremendously more efficient at handling real-time applications or a lot of parallel database calls uh, than inherently single-threaded model like PHP or default Python approach, especially Django. This means co-written Node will scale much better on the same servers. Uh, only for certain type of things. Uh, that said, uh, there's this, again, one of the myths out there, somehow you're going to need to scale your app and you're going to have to jump through hoops to scale. This is such a rare problem. Most of us are not working on Facebook. And I can tell you from personal experience, even with old PHP 5.6 can handle huge numbers of users on a moderately powered server. Then if you jump into PHP 7, which is a huge leap in capability in terms of performance over 5.6, it's not going to be an issue. As I said, one of the rules of, one of Uncle Steph's rules of development, I'm, I'm uh, me being Uncle Stack, excuse me, me being Uncle Steph, is that runtime speed is far less important than write time speed. Runtime speed is far less important than write time speed. Why? Because servers are just getting super powerful. Bandwidth is getting super huge. And so speed at which you write your programs is far more important than uh, issues of scale. Most of us will never come close to hitting the scaling problem. And when it comes to scaling, it's usually a database issue more than anything else. And there's all kinds of tools built into PHP and Python Django to optimize your database access besides just good best practices. Uh, yeah, let's see what some people are saying down here. Uh, he says, why is Node more popular? It's because Node is a shiny new, well, it's 2019, popular thing right now, but in my opinion, it is a bad platform to learn web development. Even the creator of Node has just left, has left it behind for better implementations called Deno. I like JavaScript, well, kind of. JavaScript with its own asynchronous callback promise await functionality would be very hard for beginners to grasp and implement. But again, it's not something you have to implement. So let me just finish off this uh, little piece. Just because there's a technology available out there, it doesn't mean you have to learn it. So I know people who run very, very well-trafficked web apps running on PHP Laravel, and they run fine. So the whole issue of scale is silly. The whole issue of, oh boy, I have to learn a second language is silly. Once you understand the basic constructs of programming, whether it be in JavaScript or C Sharp or Java or Python or PHP or not Ruby, it doesn't matter to learn the next one. It's not a big issue. A function is a function, a method is a method, a variable is a variable, collections, arrays, and tuples. They're all variations. Sometimes you got the syntax looks a little different, meaning the code that you are actually write looks a little different where there'll be little gotchas in each of the languages that you have to learn about, but that takes a few minutes on, you know, Google. Again, I'm here to dispel a myth, the myth that somehow one language or one framework is the ultimate one and everything else sucks. It doesn't exist in reality. Reality is every language has its place, has its niche. Every language has its advantages. That all being said, whether you're working on JavaScript node with, let's say, Express.js, that stack, or PHP Laravel, or Python Django, or C Sharp.net with ASP.net, or Java Spring, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, they all are pretty good. They all have their pros and their cons, and you have to choose the technology based on A, the type of work that you're doing. For example, if you were developing a high-performance messaging app, Node might make sense. Uh, on the other hand, if you are interfacing with some Microsoft technologies on uh, for your client, ASP.NET might be a better choice there for you as well. If you're doing uh, small business freelance, PHP is probably the king. So one of the statements I'm going to close off, they made in this video, that there's a lot of jobs in PHP, excuse me, in Node, Versus PHP, oh, the jobs, the jobs. And that's a good point, job, job. So 
I just did a simple job search on uh, Indeed. Why not use Indeed, right? Indeed.com here. So I said, what? We're going to look for Node.js jobs in Florida. So let's see. 327 jobs listed. Uh, starting salary, first job, 60 to 100,000 a year, 100 to 140,000 a year. There we go. So we get these jobs, 100, 150,000 a year. Not bad. So I did the same search, PHP in Florida, 453 jobs. So dead, dirty old PHP literally has more jobs today, as I record this in July 2021, than Node. And let's see what we got here. Okay, web project manager, not quite a developer, 40,000. That's pretty low. Uh, but here, full stack developer, 80 to 130,000. Ah, that's pretty interesting. Go to 110,000, 60, 75,000. So, you know, so like I said, here we got here 80 to 130,000 a year versus 62 to 100 versus 100 to 140. So, what I showed you is a very simple job search on Indeed, and you can see these um, numbers. You see them consistent across the board. Um, I've shown you there's actually more jobs in PHP, and they're paying as good or higher than Node jobs. So I've dispelled two big myths that are out there on the interwebs. PHP, there are no jobs. PHP is in decline, and PHP, the pay is terrible. As you can see, it's not true. Now, I'm sure in certain areas, PHP may be dropping. In certain areas, you'll find low-paid PHP jobs, maybe they're entry-level jobs. But don't let the myths of the interwebs put out by noobs uh, deter you. Whether you decide to learn Node with JavaScript or PHP with Laravel or Python and Django, they're all good choices. That's the major message I want you to take away from this video. They are all good choices. And let's say you learn JavaScript with Node and Express.js and you find there's no jobs in that, you could easily p pivot to PHP Laravel within a week, if not sooner. So it's not a big deal.